Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6, and it reads, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, and give him no rest, till he establish, and till he made Jerusalem a praise in the earth. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep their faith. Regardless of people here for a bit, keep not silence. Look, continue to let that light shine. As long as the Lord got his spirit in us, our righteous are we gonna let this light shine? The Lord said, Give him no rest. Look, look, I set watchmen upon thy walls, which shall never, never, ever, 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 ever. They're never gonna hold their peace. You didn't hear that though. When when are they gonna stop? When, when, when? Stop it, stop it, stop it. I'm tired of hearing your voices. I'm tired. I'm tired of hearing them. Isaiah 62 and 6. I have said, watch me upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, a people before us a place. Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians, so-called, and Israelite foreigners that's been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. The Lord has said, watch me up to give them warning, to let them know what's going to happen before it even happens. And then it's not even them speaking. It's the Lord speaking through them. The Lord ain't holding his tongue. The Lord's speaking through his men. We shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, all caps, Yahweh. Through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Keep not silence. But we told you not to preach in those names. Keep not silence. We beat you. Keep not silence. We locked you up. Keep not silence. We tried to delete you. Keep not silence. We took down your page. Keep not silence. And give him no rest. We threaten you. Keep not silence. And give him no rest. Give the Lord no rest. Till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. So the men of the Lord are never going to hold their peace day nor night. You, you most definitely going to get tired of hearing them. You damn sure going to get tired of seeing them. But they're not going to hold their peace day nor night until the Lord make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, man. As that top nation ruling the whole planet earth once again. And these other nations are under us, man. That, that's when the men of the Lord are going to stop preaching. You, you, you want us to stop preaching? That look, look, that's when. The Lord said, that's when. When I make you a praise on the earth. This, this word going to go out throughout the four corners of the earth. Everybody's going to hear. Everybody's going to find out who the biblical Hebrew Israelites are. Everybody's going to find out about the death and destruction. I'm saying the chaos and the mayhem that the Lord is bringing. You see, everybody, St. Matthew. And this is just a quick one. St. Matthew chapter 10. So like it. St. Matthew chapter 10. Just something quick. I'm about to head out. The Lord said, never keep silence. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, St. Matthew chapter 10. Listen to this right here. Remember the Lord said, keep not silence, right? St. Matthew. You, you, you tired of hearing us, right? But listen to this. St. Matthew 10 and 20. For it is not ye that speak. So the men that's out there on the highways and byways starting off with our head apostles. Slash elder bishops, a great millstone. Look, look. What you got guys denying. Guys said that they, they, they didn't learn the truth. From the head apostle slash elder bishop, the great minister. Oh, no. They look, they're not their leaders. Farrakhan is their leaders. They, they say they learn more from Farrakhan than they did the men of the Lord that, that taught them how to break down the scriptures. These guys are bugged the hell out of Israel. But you love them, though. The T-shirt gang. You, you love them, though. They, they didn't even mention the head apostles slash elder bishops of great millstone. 
They, look, they didn't mention Yahweh. First and foremost, they didn't mention Yahweh by Shem. You saw pride, that, that pride, yo, is one hell of a drug. That pride got guys to the point to where they don't even acknowledge Yahweh. If somebody say, um, um, who, who, who was your leader or who inspired you? And they, and they, they won't even mention Yahweh by Shem. I was shy. Because they, they pumped up now. You see, that pride oozing off them. They don't mention, look, look, the scripture say, continue in the things which thou hast learned and have been assured of, knowing a fool thou hast learned them from, but also what it say right before that, evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse and deceiving and being deceived. Then right up, there, right up under that, it says, but thou continue in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of. Knowing of whom thou hast learned them from. So we all learn from somebody, and the damn sure won't Farrakhan. All right? It damn sure won't Khalid Muhammad. Or none of that nonsense. Yeah, how about Hashim Yahushai sent forth the head apostles slash other bitches of great mills? So I learned that name from them. I learned Yeah, how about Hashim Yahushai from them. I learned the true breakdowns of the scriptures from them. So we reverence them. Fear the Lord and reverence his priests, right? But we're going to move on, though. St. Matthew 10 and 20. The Lord just had me say that. St. Matthew, look, look, give credit where credit is due. Double honors if they're worthy of it. And they're most definitely worthy of it, man. Those are the men that the head apostle slash elder bishop, the great millstone. Those are the men that the Lord sent forth for us to follow. Okay? What did the apostle Paul say? Be ye followers of me, even as I am of Yahweh Shai. St. Matthew 10 and 20. For it is for it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. Remember St. Luke 10? St. Luke 10. Wait, let's just get it right quick. It's not even us speaking. When, it, when these videos that we do each and every day throughout the week, these live streams, guess who's speaking? It's the Lord speaking. So you people out there, you Israelites, you're not ignoring us. You're actually ignoring the Lord. When you come on the, on, the, on our videos and make those stupid comments, guess who you're really coming up against? The Lord. Look, look, you have no clue. You have no clue of what's coming your way. You got to give account for everything you said, everything that you type. You got to tell, get the Lord a reason why you did it. You, you don't even know. St. Luke chapter 10, verse 16. He that heareth you, heareth me. But you didn't know this scripture where I said, huh? You, you didn't know that, right? He that heareth you, heareth me, and he that despises you, meaning hate you, despises me. You really hate the Lord who sent us, right? And he that despises me, despises him that sent me. So you hate us, you hate the Lord, Lord Yahweh Shai. You hate Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? Then you hate his heavenly father, the most high Yahweh. But we're going to speak on, though. We, look, we, we're just going to speak on, though, right? And the words that we speak, you know what I'm saying, eventually is going to come to pass, right? But you didn't know that either, though, right? The Lord said, don't, don't ever hold your peace for nothing in the world, for nobody. Nobody. Nobody is worthy of you stopping speaking this word. You got guys that don't even speak the words no more. Like, like they're behind the shadows now, like the Lord won't going to seek you out and find you. You see, 1 Peter chapter 4. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 11. This is just something quick. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 11. If any man speak, any Hebrew Israelite man, right? Negro, Latin, and Native American Indian, right? Let him speak as the oracles of the Most High. If you're going to speak, make sure it's according to the scriptures. Don't wing it. Don't lean into your own understanding. You see, speak according to the oracles of the Most High, meaning the scriptures. If any man minister, meaning serve, let him do it as of the ability which the Most High give you. Because the Lord gave everybody several abilities, several measures. You see, talents. You do it to the best of your ability. You do it right, though. That the most high Yahweh in all things may be glorified. Look, look, you got guys, some of them, their leader, you know what I'm saying, who they learned everything from, basically, is, is Minister Louis Farrakhan or Khalid Muhammad or, or, or some old bugged out other man on the face of the earth. They didn't even give glory, you know what I'm saying, to Yahweh. They didn't give glory to the Heavenly Father that Yahweh in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shai. This is, this is how we praise the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai. You see? That's why we say Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. You see? You didn't know that though, right? To whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. 
You got guys, reverend Muslim guys in there. Instead of the head apostles slash elder bishop, the great minister, which they know they learned the truth from. They didn't learn the truth from, from um, Louis Minister Farrakhan. That man is double-minded. You you said you said a double-minded man is your head now. You see? Oh man. You 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 people don't even know. You 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 have no clue. And I'm, I'm about to wrap it up. It's just a quick little lesson on, on just speaking. Never holding your silence, never keeping peace. Yeah, they, they might not want to hear your voice, but so what? It ain't, look, Israel, it ain't about these people. All right? This is Exodus chapter 4. It ain't even about these people, man. It's about the Lord. Exodus chapter 4. Oh, yeah, um, what was a hurricane down there in Louisiana, too, deleted a whole lot of people, too. Exodus chapter 4. Watch me. Man, come on, man. The Lord got us blowing that trumpet for real. Exodus chapter 4. Let me see what I want. Exodus chapter 4, verse 10. And Moses said unto the Lord, Oh my, oh my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither there to for. See, Moses wasn't a good speaker. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't using all these big ass words that these guys try to use, like polite and all them, all them ninjas. You see, and um, and uh, what was that dude? Shaka, 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 shaka Khan, shaka Khan, shaka homos. They try to use these big elaborate words. Moses said, "I wasn't an eloquent speaker." You see. It says, neither thereto for, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant. But I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. And the Lord said unto him, who have made man's mouth, or who maketh the dumb, or deaf. And dumb goes back to a person that can't speak. You see, it's not talking about a person, duh, duh. no. Dumb goes back to not being able to speak, right? Or deaf. Or the sin, or the blind, have not I the Lord? You see? Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth. See? You people don't even know. The Lord told Moses, look, when we coming in the stead of Moses, starting off with the head apostles, slash elder bishop, the great millstone, Moses came with the 100% truth according to the Bible. You see? We, yes, yes, we follow men. Yes, we follow men. Now therefore go. And I will be with thy mouth and teach thee what thou shalt say. You see? So it's the Lord that's speaking through us. Got us saying everything that he wants us to say. Look, that's why we ain't got to rehearse nothing. I mean, sometimes you write down certain scriptures or whatever, and that's all through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. Look, no such thing as free will. That, that, that cut free will right there, man. You know? That cut free will right there. So the Lord told us to go speak and look, are we, are we not doing that or what? Are, are we not doing that or what? Well, then you know what's going to happen before it even happens. This shit getting bad out here too, boy. Ignore the words all you want to. You just like going to find yourself, and we say this all the time through the Spirit, you're going to find yourself in the worst predicament ever known in mankind that you didn't think you were going to be in. Look, in a hot second too, I, um, Jeremiah 28. Remember, it's the Lord speaking through us, right? Jeremiah 28 and 8. And it reads, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied. The Lord had them telling you things that was going to happen before it even happened. You didn't think it was going to come to pass, though. Both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And, er and everything that is written up in the scripture right here is happening now. You see, we ain't, we ain't saying it's coming anymore. It, it, it's happening. Everything is happening. Real time. You, you, you too blind to see it? Look, look. Oh, well. Oh, look, look. Oh, look. Oh, oh well. Let's get this. Oh, look, I got two more scriptures. Then I'm, I'm going to wrap it up. This, this is our job. What's your job? This is our job to preach this word. What's your job out there? You see? Better get on your job. The Lord said, my, my servants are never going to hold their peace day or night. So look, the prophets of the Lord, you go to that page, it ain't going to say um, last video four months ago. If you're a prophet of the Lord, it's not going to say a year ago. Last time they uploaded a video a year ago. The last time they went to the streets seven months ago, five months ago. 
No, the Lord said, never hold your peace day nor night. You forgot all about that scripture, right? You're a prophet of the Lord. Is that going to say five years ago uh, you uploaded a video? Unless your page, unless they, they blocked you from getting on that page and you don't even use that page no more. That, that's, that's about it. But if you got an up and running page, it's not going to say five months ago, last time you went to the streets. Ten months ago, the last time you uploaded a video. You look, look, you, you forgot about never hold their peace day or night. G guys don't even know what they got their stuff into. You see, that's why the scripture say count the cost. You thought you thought it was going to be fun and easy because you see men out there hollering, bringing out scripture. You, 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 you don't even know the half, man. Malachi 2 and 7, for the priest's lips should keep knowledge. You see, and they shall seek the law at his mouth. Bear with me. Malachi 2 and 7, for the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they shall seek the law to his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. The Lord sent forth messengers. Did you get the message? The Lord sent forth messengers. Did you get the message? I got one more and then I'm gone. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. That's who we do these lessons for. All right? We do these lessons for the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, right? 2 Corinthians chapter 4. This is my last one, Israel. What, what the scriptures say? We believe, therefore we speak, right? 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 13. We have in the same spirit of faith. It takes faith to do these videos each and every day. It takes faith to go out there to the highways and byways week in, week out. And the Lord got his spirit on us heavy, man. Br brothers are really um, locking in. Brothers are really locking in, man. You see it on their face. Brothers, laser, laser beam focus, man. We have in the same spirit of faith to believe in something that you don't see. According as it is written, I believe. Therefore, I have spoken. Did, did you hear that? You see the men is making videos pretty much every day or making videos throughout the week to the best of their ability, whatever the spirit put on them. You see, you, you, you see all that, right? You see men out there on the highways and byways for hours. Guess why they do it? Because they believe, man. They turn the camera on and match record because they believe. It's not a fad to us. We truly believe the Lord has given us the gift of faith to believe. I believe and therefore I have spoken. So like I believe, therefore have I spoken. We also believe, we also have faith and therefore speak. Never hold your peace day nor night. Shalom.